So we're organizing um, a conference, uh, a Keystone Symposium, called One Million Genomes from Discovery to Health. It'll be in Hanover, Germany in June 2018. Um, I'm a co-organizer with uh, my colleagues Terry Minolio from the National Human Genome Research Institute and Patrick Tan from Duke NUS. Um, and uh, this conference came about recognizing uh, that there uh, was a, a significant increase in the number of national sequencing programs that were taking place globally. Um, and the question that we were trying to address was whether we could really harness uh, the, uh, the leadership of those uh, efforts as well as uh, the goals of those efforts to bring scientists, industry, clinicians, healthcare leaders together in a single venue to really have a dialogue about how to make the most value uh, from uh, these large-scale efforts. That value would be realized by driving um, biological insights from genome sequencing into understanding basic mechanisms of disease, as well as driving it in the other direction towards the clinic, so how to create clinically meaningful insights from uh, human genomes that actually would have an impact on people as well as populations. We expect this meeting to attract a number of different types of scientists, clinicians, people from uh, both the private sector, so we hope industry leaders that are already on the agenda to uh, uh, participate, but also industry leaders who are seeking to understand uh, where is this field going, what will it bring to them in the future, uh, as well as healthcare leaders and, and even ministries of health who are thinking about how to position their own nations in the future to emulate some of the national programs that are going on. So um, it's quite a diversity of uh, both the scientific community, the clinical community, uh, policymakers, um, as well as, uh, um, when I say the scientific community, I, I'm, I'm speaking to both basic as well as clinical and clinician scientists. This conference uh, is one of the few that I'm aware of uh, that is actually bringing um, the communities I've already mentioned together. One of the things that is uh, happening um, throughout the scientific community um, is the democratization of data. And it's certainly um, hypothesized that if we could engage in more sharing of uh, scientific findings of data from genetics and genomics, that that will accelerate the science. Um, we tend to have a fairly siloed um, scientific community right now. Um, and uh, I think Keystone Symposia could have a leadership role in engaging um, the scientific community in a dialogue around this. How do we actually handle all the data that's coming out of genome sequencers uh, around the world and the clinical data that's associated with them in electronic health records. So uh, this meeting will also um, uh, feature a number of uh, world-class data scientists coming together to help us understand how to derive the utmost scientific meaning from uh, these types of data, um, as well as uh, how to uh, channel some of those findings into the clinic. For us, the organizers, it's an implicit agenda that having this, these people in the room and seeing what's happening um, in different regions, both in germline sequencing as well as cancer sequencing, will undoubtedly stimulate dialogue that we hope will, will continue outside the meeting and lead to further uh, advances in, in data sharing, uh, democratization of data, and um, bringing the science faster to the people and as well as to uh, the scientific community. We're, we're hopeful that this will be a meeting that attracts people from all over the world, not just from Europe, uh, but of course from Asia, South America, um, and even from Africa. I, I'm hopeful that we'll bring people from uh, less developed countries that see this as, as a certain opportunity. So um, I'm pleased that uh, uh, Keystone Symposium was able to find a venue like this. I think June in Germany uh, uh, sounds like a, a great place uh, for uh, science to get discussed. So it's been really wonderful to be part of the Keystone Symposia family. Um, I, uh, I joined the SAB uh, three years ago as an ad hoc. Um, and uh, what I found uh, both uh, in the meetings themselves as a, a great dialogue and a sense of community, uh, a somewhat informal nature to it, so it really is conducive to sharing ideas and uh, maybe walking out the door with a, collabor a collaboration or two. And I personally have benefited from being in an environment to hear about a lot of the scientific uh, um, uh, progress and the meetings that are trying to encapsulate those, so it's really broadened my horizon. So I'm, I'm uh, um, thinking I'm, uh, I'm lucky to be uh, in this community.